Guys, it is 1.30 in the morning and I am so tired and so hungry. And I obviously didn't film anything today, it was just a travel day. But I was so hungry, I was like, I can't not eat before bed. I, I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep. And so I ate before we left. And on the plane, they gave us food, which was so fabulous and bougie that I got a whole freaking meal. But it was not really edible. So <laughs> normally Corey and I are like, rah, 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 just eat it, whatever it is, we don't care. But the food just like, it wasn't, it tasted like it would make us sick. So we were just like, ah, maybe we don't eat this. So we didn't eat the food and then, um, we got to the hotel and it was after midnight. So I just ordered whatever was fastest, like delivery food. But then it just kept saying it was gonna take longer and longer and longer, even though I originally said it would get here in 20 minutes. It took an hour and 15 minutes to get here, an hour and 20 minutes to get here. So I've just been like trying to stay awake just to eat. And I don't even know what it, I ordered, I don't even know. It's like rice and sandwiches or something. And I didn't even like look, I just like ordered whatever was popular. But it's like fried rice, fried rice. And then I got a trio of sandwiches. So it's like their famous like Philly cheesesteak sandwich, I think. And then some sort of shrimp looking thing. And maybe that's chicken. I literally don't know what these things are. I just got it because it said it was popular. So let's try them together and have a little chat. I think this is the one they're known for. It's like their Philly cheesesteak. And I'm not a big Philly cheesesteak girl, but we'll try it. It tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. Next one is whatever this shrimp thing is. Okay. It's like a fried shrimp sandwich, pretty good. And this looks like chicken and pickled onions and maybe scallions or something. I think the shrimp one is my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna try the fried rice. Okay, I've had people ask me before, like when you taste things in your vlogs, do you just throw it all away after? Maybe I've talked about this in a vlog before, but I don't remember if I have. So yeah, I do just taste things in vlogs and it looks like I just take a bite and throw everything away. I don't do that. Um, I take one bite for the camera because I'm not gonna sit here and eat an entire meal in front of you guys because that would be boring because like it's just sitting me sitting here chewing. So like I'll take a bite and I'll taste everything, turn off the camera and then I'll ask if anyone around me, my team, my family, my friends, whatever, wants anything and I'll eat whatever my favorite thing was. So for this, I'll probably eat the chicken and the shrimp sandwich and this fried rice. It's good. Hmm, that's pretty good. You can't go wrong with fried rice. Okay, so I'm really hungry and I wanna eat, but I did wanna tell you a story. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story and then I'm gonna eat my food and go to bed. So before I left, something I'm probably gonna cry. Warning everybody, I'm probably gonna cry. Um, ooh, that smells really good. So Flynn seemed pretty sad that I was leaving this time. Oh, I'm gonna cry. He always like is sad that I have to go. Like we always talk about how we miss each other and all that. But this time he, you know, he just expressed it a little bit more. He was just like, do you have to go right now? Can you go later? Can I come with you? You know, stuff like that. I didn't want him to be sad. I didn't want him to miss me. And I knew that once I left, because this happens every time, it's always sad to say goodbye. But every time I leave, all the kids are immediately having a blast and having so much fun and going on adventures with daddy. And they get to see grandma and go to grandma's house sometimes. And they get to go to the beach and just have so much fun. You know, I knew that they would forget the second I left. But Flynn did express that he was like sad. And I was talking about how I was sad too. And then as I I was leaving he said but wait mommy wait wait are you ever gonna come back <laughs> and I was like oh no like the, the, the thought that his sweet little three-year-old brain thought that I was leaving and I wouldn't come back like I was like oh my god sweetie I'll always come back mommy always comes back I will never leave you forever I will always come back you guys know I talk about it all the time <laughs> I really miss my kids when I go. So it doesn't ever get easier. I don't get used to it. Like it sucks every time. Anyway, the story I'm trying to tell you is that I have a baby blanket that um, I've had since I was born. And Flynn has the exact same baby blanket that he, he's had since he was born. And he loves his blanket. He has actually a few of them. So I wanted Flynn to feel like he was with me and that he could be with me whenever he wanted. And so I knew that he loves sleeping. He loves sleeping with his baby blankets. So I went up to him, I was like, I have to show you something special. I need your help. He came up to me and I handed him my baby blanket and I said, there's not room for this in my suitcase. Can you protect it while I'm gone? It's my baby blanket. I had it when I was a little girl like you. And he said, yeah, okay, I can do that. And I said, but this blanket is a special blanket. This blanket is mommy's magical baby blanket. So whenever you miss me, if you hug this blankie, I will feel it. I'll feel your hugs. And he smiled so big and then he hugged it. And he said, could you feel that mommy? And I said, yes, I felt it. That was such a good hug. And he just kept doing that and kept doing that. And so then I left and I got texts from my mom and from Eric saying like, 
Flynn wants to know if you felt that hug. And I guess he was like carrying the blanket around a lot of the day and like <sighs> hugging it and telling everyone that I could feel the hugs. Um, Eric said that he went to sleep just like holding that blanket as tight as he could. <laughs> I love that sweet boy so much. I love him so much. I'm so grateful for him and all that he teaches me and all that he, just everything about him. I love him so dearly. And um, I'm glad that I thought of a way for him to like feel like I was with him when I'm not there. I wish I could do the same thing for the twins. I wish I could talk to him and explain it to them too. I miss them so much. And to know that he was just carrying around that blanket, hugging it because he knew that I could feel it. Just, oh my God, it broke my little heart. So I'm gonna eat my fried rice on the floor and <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> But I wanted to share that story in case there's any other moms out there who have to travel for work or leave for work every day and their kids miss them. Like maybe you can try the magical blanket or magical teddy bear trick and maybe that'll make you feel better. Or maybe it'll make you cry more. But I'm so excited to do the shows and it's just a quick little trip and then I have a big break. So I do these couple of shows and then I have a long time off before my next shows, so I can really spend a lot of time with the kids. But I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys. Okay, I'm in Atlanta. We already know this. Uh, I'm backstage at the venue and I'm gonna try to make rip away shirts because I used to do sing the show where I'd rip off my clothes and it was fun and I was like, I kind of want to do that again in a show and just, just for fun. So I'm gonna do it. I have my rip away pants but I don't have rip away shirts anymore so I have to make them. And when I had rip away shirts in the past, I had these shirts but I made them so they're really lightweight and thin and these are literally sweatshirts. So I don't know if this is gonna work because like if I feel like sweatshirt material kind of sticks to itself, so trying to rip this off, I don't know. So we're gonna try. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the bottom band here because it has like a seam that could get caught on something and when you rip off clothes, you want them to be like and not get caught on anything. Also, the less material on me, the better because this is very thick. It doesn't need to look good because it's gonna be tucked into my pants. It's so stupid that I'm going all out doing this because I'm probably only gonna do this in like one or two shows, but I just missed doing it. It was so fun and so I was like, I wanna do it again. And now, I'm gonna cut seam right down the center of the back. Now there's an opening, and the idea is that this is only like this, just a little velcro in the back. The idea is that then I'll just be able to go like that. I just need to put a little piece of velcro on the back here. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun. All right, I'll let you guys know when I'm done. Time for sound checks! vlogged anything today. I'm sorry. I did the meet and greet. It was lovely. And I have some footage of that. Yay! Look what you got! But it has just been a very hectic day running around, getting everything ready for the show. I added a couple things, and so I've just been stressed about that. I'm nervous. I feel like I should take a modium because I'm nervous. Corey's feet are bleeding off. He has blisters. The bloody sock. I don't know. Corey's got bloody socks, y'all. Oh! oh my god, the drama of it all. <gasps> Uh, there's you literally see my blood. Hole, the bloody hole you see it oh uh, yeah you can see it you can see it he literally has huge blisters on his heels from new shoes and his feet are just, and that's through band-aids through the socks like intense so poor Corey has to do the show in that oh my gosh poor guy drama injury on tour anyway we're about to go on stage I am nervous today very nervous don't know I get more nervous now than I ever did pre pandemic I would get nervous, but now I get like really nervous, like super, super anxious and nervous before every show. It's funny because at the meet and greet, sometimes people ask me like, oh, how do you not get nervous on stage? Well, the answer is I don't. Like I literally just get nervous. Anyway, so I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna do a show and I guess I'll see you guys after. Okay, bye. Okay guys, I finished the show and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat some vegetables. And so we got actually really good food today. We got amazing Southern food. I had fried okra, fried green tomatoes, hush puppies, chicken and dumplings, shrimp and grits, the whole thing. It was so good. And then for dinner, we had some tacos. And now I'm hungry because I exert so much energy on stage. I'm always so hungry after shows. Like I always eat crazy amounts after shows. This is what I have backstage is 
fruit and veggies. So I'm gonna eat these and then when I get to the hotel, I'll probably order more food and eat more. I think there's some cutie patooties outside. So I'm gonna go say hi and call my babies and cry and then go to bed. So let's do it. I'm back at my hotel. Ow, I have a side ache. What's happening? Cory and I are gonna go get some cheeseburgers. I just FaceTimed with the kids. Uh, and And they're all just so cute and perfect, and I love them so much. Eric sent me a video of the kids, and it's so cute. I wanna share it with you guys. It's Wesley laughing, and it's the cutest thing ever, so please enjoy that. <laughs> Is he funny? Is he a funny guy? <laughs> that was a good one, huh? Is that a good one? and then shower and go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We're traveling to Washington DC tomorrow and I'm very excited about it. So I'll see y'all there. Goodbye.